Tesla have just revealed within the past 24 hours some information about what they're going to do with their new EVs. What's going to happen in the first quarter of next year? Tesla are saying they're going to bring out more affordable EVs made on the same production lines. But um, guys, I have my, well, my belief of what's going to happen here. I may be wrong, but I suspect I could also be right. Here's my prediction or my basically my interpretation of what Tesla are telling us. What will be these new affordable EVs coming from Tesla? I don't think it's what it sounds like. Here's what I think it's actually going to be. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Phenomenal to see you guys. You know what? I think Tesla are going to bring out the new Model 2 on the 10th of October this year. On the 10th of October, Tesla will reveal the so-called robo-taxi. There'll be two versions of that in my, my opinion. One of them will be this, the plain old Model 2, not robo-taxi. The other version will be, will be pretty much the same car, but you know, turned into a robo-taxi. Same kind of design and style platform, everything else. That would be, yeah, the robo-taxi. Now, I also believe Tesla are working on a van, but yeah, that's another story for another video. Tesla have just said, right? This is what they said, exact quote. Plans for new vehicles, including more affordable models, remain on track for start of production in the first half of 2025. These vehicles will utilize aspects of the next generation platform, as well as aspects of our current platforms, and will be able to be produced on the same manufacturing lines as our current vehicle lineup. So Tesla is saying there will be new vehicles. Plans for new vehicles, including more affordable models, remain on track. New vehicles, here's what my interpretation of that is. I don't believe you'll be able to buy a different version of a Tesla in next year, 2025. I don't think it's gonna happen. The Model 2 will probably come out next year at some point. The cheaper version of the Cybertruck will come out. Yes, there'll be a cheaper version, though I believe Tesla, what they're doing is telling us, okay, by the end of this year, there'll be Model Y. The new version of Model Y. Model Y Juniper will come out in the fourth quarter of this year. That's what I think is going to happen based on all the different news I've read from suppliers and all these different sources. Putting it all together, my opinion is it's coming in the fourth quarter of this year. But my opinion is equally this. Tesla are working on new ways to more cheaply manufacture the Model 3 and the new version of the Model Y. So the Model Y Juniper, there'll be a cheaper version. I believe what will happen is we'll have... Two models still, essentially mass market models, the Model Y and the Model 3. But there'll be, of course, the new Model Y. So there'll only be the Model Y Juniper. There'll be no, no more, more old Model Y, the Model Y we have now. But what Tesla will do for these so-called new cheaper vehicles is put smaller battery packs in them. That's what I think. I think that those vehicles will be more efficient. Tesla are going to work out a way to make both vehicles lighter and potentially have more energy-dense batteries. So Tesla are going to come along and say, you know what? These battery packs are smaller. You're going to get the same range as the old model, right? But it's going to be a cheaper car. So we're going to bring down the price by maybe 5% potentially. Plus, in some way, Tesla are going to manufacture these cars more efficiently. Some sort of efficiency gains and improvements. Could that be with to do with structural parts of the car? More giga casting potentially, bigger casting sections, something like that. But that's what I think, guys. So I know there's going to be a lot of videos out there kind of getting people really excited. There's going to be new Tesla cars coming in the first quarter of next year. I think that's highly unlikely. I think Tesla's kind of wording this in a way where they'll say, yeah, they're built on the same production lines, right? We're building these cars on the same production lines because they're the same car, but this is a new version of the Model Y. It's got a smaller battery. It's cheaper. There's never been, never been a Model Y you can buy for this price. It's the cheapest price in history. And that will honestly... That will drive Tesla sales next year. If Tesla come along with a new version of Model Y, which has all the new features, all those new features in the Model 3 plus some better batteries, and it is more affordable than what it is today, it, it'll be the best selling car in the world next year. I, I'd be willing to bet money on that. It's obviously a very good car. Now, everyone's saying, everyone's all the journalists, not everyone, but you know, users and journalists are saying the current best car, the best EV in the world for the money and just overall is the current Model 3. I've heard that so many times from people who have tested it many, many times. Now, Tesla bringing out a new version of the Model 3 with a, a different battery pack, a smaller battery, more efficiently produced vehicle, maybe a lighter vehicle, that'll help push Model 3 sales. But the big winner here for Tesla will be mass production of the Model Y Juniper with a cheaper version, a smaller battery pack, and I think that's gonna drive sales. Now, once people can know they can get one of these vehicles for say 50,000 Australian dollars, maybe 35,000 US dollars, 
that will increase EV adoption, no question. But I just don't think it's gonna be as exciting as what people are hoping for based on the kind of information that Tesla is sort of leaking, you know, putting out there. But let me know what you think. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think it'll be a whole brand new vehicle being manufactured on Tesla's existing production lines? Just doesn't sound that likely to me. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.